Welcome to the Full Octane Garage. Today's an exciting day because as you can see behind me, we have GMC parts that are all painted. <laughs> All right, today's a big day on the 1957 GMC. We got the rest of the body panels back. So today we got back the two front fenders and the hood. And then underneath all of this are a couple of doors. We've got the uh, screen in front of the windshield. We've got the apron. Uh, we shot the two door panels a couple weeks ago with a couple of other bits. Got a little bit of paint left over. Still have the radiator core support over there that we have to clean up and repaint before we can hang the fenders. And then we'll go over to the other side of the garage. And the truck is here. Now one really cool thing about this 57 GMC truck, and I think we've gone over this a little bit before, we have C4 Corvette suspension on this thing. We have a Z51 steering rack, tight ratio steering rack. We have Z51 suspension. We have the 13 inch Z51 big brakes. And when you come to the back of the car, back of the truck, can't really see it under there, but we actually have the rear suspension out of a C4 Corvette. So we got all the independent suspension on a custom chassis. We've got a stainless steel gas tank. And again, big brakes on the rear. And when this thing is done, it is going to be my Corvette pickup truck. As you know, we have a few other Corvettes. We've got 2019 Grand Sport. We've got the 63 split window. And we have a 1960 Corvette semi-resto mod but this one is going to be a full resto mod got a six liter ls motor with uh ls which is an ls2 we have ls3 heads from a zl1 camaro we have an ls3 intake and we're going to run a holly terminator system on it so we got to clean the garage up a little bit it's been a few weeks since we've done a, a good straightening up and organizing but we want to organize so that we can go ahead and put the windshield wipers in, put the front uh, grill surround on, and then we can come inside the truck and start installing the air conditioning and all of the wiring. And then once we get all the wiring and instruments and radio and all that stuff in, then comes putting the steering column in getting the steering assembly down to the steering rack, which I'm still not sure whether I'm going to have a straight run or I'm going to have to do a two-piece. Got to finish hooking the, uh, the brake lines up, the front and rear. Put the new radiator in, core support, wire up some battery, put some glass in the truck. We've got the bed almost in. We've got one last rail to go because we have to cut a hole in it for the gas tank. And then we got to put the tailgate on. So, all that can be done in probably two hours. Ha, ah, right. Anyways, so that's a progress update on the 57 GMC truck. Thanks for being with us at the Full Octane Garage. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell your friends all about the cool projects we got going on. And as soon as we get to it, this GMC will be on the road. Talk to y'all later.